to day number 30 and reasons why Jesus came to die. Uh, so that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. 1 Peter 2.24 uh, one of my old professors in seminary used to say that when we enter into scripture, when we approach it, we should always be prepared to find something there that we did not expect and to see something utterly new. And this is especially true uh, for today's teaching. Now, today's teaching is deeply connected to Romans 6, uh, where Paul preaches the fact that we have already died explicitly in the past tense and this is much clearer there because he expands this uh so this should be very strange to us uh, how can paul preach to us and say you who have already died uh especially when we feel very much alive uh and seem to be moving around in this world acting normally so the natural question is what do you mean that i'm when did this happen uh, and he explains that this has happened to us in our baptism, because in our baptism, we have died with Jesus Christ, and there we receive his promise uh, that we will be raised with him to life. This is extremely important, why we should hold a high view of baptism, and always be returning to our baptism as a source of comfort. <laughs> Now, what does this mean for us, uh, practically speaking, that we are people who are literally dead walking? Um, it means that sin's power against us uh, no longer uh, has any hold on us. That Sin can no longer accuse us, uh, that it no longer has the final word against us. Um, think about it this way. Uh, if you were to go to somebody's grave of someone who's already died and you're to curse at them and accuse them uh, and tell them all the things that they have done wrong, uh, tell them how unworthy they are, they're not hearing any of that. They're already dead. They're unbothered by this. Um, so sin's power is always against people who are still alive. Uh, and this means that we are freed from sin's accusation and sin's power over us has been removed and Christ now rules over us instead. So this is deeply freeing and liberating uh, to know that this has been done for us in Jesus Christ. Um, and I hope that this can help you during this Lent season and God bless you.